first pitch from Reed to Ben Anderson. And he grounds that one. As a straight drive. to the line drive, I should say, right to Blake Wright. One pitch, one away. The lineup or the, the box score every night. Takes a big cut and misses. Strikes him out, and there's quickly two away. He's in a good spot here. 3-0 pitch. Takes it. So he walks on four pitches. That would have allowed a runner to get in the scoring position. Runner is going, and he will walk in. Stolen base number four for Connor Tate. Would be best case scenario, probably. 3 2 pitch. Popped it up. Deep fly ball. Stripping all the way back, and this one is going to be on Homer for Harbor. And the Bulldogs jump out to a 2 0 lead. Harbor making his 11th home run of the season. You're right, Fred. It looked almost like a, a pop up. He got under it, but he crushed it, and it carried. So he hangs in there and gets it across. Will Taylor tried to make a play on it. Fastball, inner half. He turned his hands on nicely. Good camera work to see. And Taylor just couldn't Oof. get there. He'll walk that time. So on five pitches, Tigers get the leadoff man aboard. 1-1 one, one pitch. There's a drive right field. This will just drop inside the line. Engel on his way to second. Canarella on his way th home. He will come across, and the Tigers cut the lead to 2-1. to RBI, Cooper Engel. And for Engel, that's now a 32-game on-base streak. The ball was dropped, uh, making an easy, uh, easy run. Taylor pops it up. Center fielder Anderson will come in. Still hustling, finally brings it in. That's the first out of the Ooh, inning. Real nice job on the mound, isn't he? That one gets away on the swing, and you can see getting into third is Engel. They still get the strikeout for the second out of the inning, but now you've got the tying run 90 feet away at third. It's been on fire. And he hits that, and he's still on fire. Fair ball, tying run across. It's 2-2. Amy coming in, standing up at second, and the Tigers have knotted this game. So Clemson comes back, and now they've tied it 2-2. So you see a fastball, middle zone, a little bit up, and he he ripped it. They were batting 315. That'll really, really help. There's a drive left field, but it looks like the left fielder Tate is able to handle it, and that will retire the side. That's going to drop in for a base hit. Third of the game for the Bulldogs, and... Georgia's got the leadoff man aboard with a single. The 1-1 one, one from Hoffman. Grounder handled by Wright. Wright looked to second, but it'll instead take the sure out at first, and there's two down. 0-1 oh, pitch. Fly ball. Taylor backs up, takes a step back up, and was in the good position all the way along. It's not a submariner anyways. It is close to sidearm, though. And that's going to be a base hit over the glove of Will David. Right hustling to first. Makes the turn, comes back, and the Tigers have the leadoff man aboard again. Battling the sun, which is starting to set. Runner going. Oh. And it's a shot right into Pearson's glove. And they flip it over for a quick double play. Wow. And that's going to go for a base hit. Sends it to the right field beyond the reach of Charlie Condon. 1-1 one, one pitch. And he will send that into center field. And you can see a nice job to get all the way over to third is Hall. And Clemson keeps the two-out rally going. Missed way outside, and the bases are loaded. Grounder up the middle. One run will score. Two runs will score. The throw to the plate nowhere near in time. Will Taylor celebrating at first, and the Tigers have their first lead of the night. It's 4-2. The second baseman, the old traditional position, he probably makes that play, right? Canarella comes across, and then Taylor is facing Caden Grice. Grice with a grounder. It will be fielded by the first baseman, Condon, who gets the out. It's one pitch and one out for Caldwell. 
Fly ball, center field, chasing after it all the way back is Canarella, and he will watch it bounce off the, the wall in center field. Home run for Charlie Condon, and it's now a 4-3 game for Condon. That is home run number 17. That's an impressive swing. That was a good fastball in on the hands. Hit it to the deepest part of the park. Fastball in on the hands. And he got those hands out, got the barrel on it. I was surprised to see a carry like that. He is a strong boy because uh, that, that wind's coming out, and he just crushed it right over the center field wall. And the first swing of this at-bat is going to go for a base hit. That's Connor Tate who walked the first time up, and Tate will come in, sliding in for the double. Ballon. Grounder. Blackwell has it. He makes the throw over. Look at the lead runner. Fly ball chasing after it is Canarello who makes a spectacular catch a huge throw. It's good enough to get the run across but that was a pretty acrobatic play by Cam Canarello in center but still the Bulldogs are able to tie the game on the sack fly. Yes. Yeah, I don't know if he overran a little bit five uh, top ten teams as well. Fly ball, Will Taylor chasing after it, still chasing, it's gonna go off the wall. Murillo is gonna come in and slot fourth started, second hit of the night for Murillo. B.J. Bailey, the third pitcher of the night for the Tigers. Fly ball. Facing after it is Nathan Hall. Hall in foul territory will bring it in. Murillo will check up, and then he'll make the hustle over to third, goes in once again, head first on the slide. Came back and won the game. Grounder gets, gets by right. Base hit will give Georgia their second lead of the night. And Stinson comes in standing up. And Georgia goes back in front. It's 5-4. You watch this pitch from Bailey in her half, and he just scorched it. And really with the, with the uh, infield in, in, that's what uh, they got by Blake right. If, that, if the infield's back, he probably can make that play. The 2-2 from Reed Garris. Struck him out. Tigers get out of it, allowing a run. Communication that way. Ooh. Fine inside, but he'll walk Gonzalez. David with a grounder. Gets beyond the grasp of right. That's the eighth hit for Georgia. Was able to get couple in the third, one in the fourth, I should say, as they pops it up. Calling for it in the right field spot is Nathan Hall. Hall brings it in and retires the side. Olinchuk grounder, and it's going to get right through for a base hit. Wright was charging after it. See if they can get out of the inning. One-two pitch coming. Runner going. It's in the dirt, and it gets that way from Engel. He bounces that one up. Curve. Breaking across the plate. Popped it up. Calling for it is Blackwell to make the catch. Yes, it was. Blackwell Hall and then the top of the order with Canarella coming up for the Tigers, trailing by a run. Strike called. And the first out of the inning. Second strikeout, and the Tigers are down to their final out. Field, as he just showed there. And that's going to be off the glove of LaPlante. It was a tough attempt for him, but he really smoked that, and the tying run is aboard with two out. A pitch from Finley. And there's going to be a drive down the right field line. It's fair. Canarella will round third. It comes to the plate, the uh, ball is there in time. He tags him and that is the out and that is the ball game. Cooper Engel ripped it. Canarella did his best to come around and score but the Bulldogs get a great throw from Stinson and they get him out of the plate on the tag by Gonzalez. What an exciting way to finish. But it's a win for Georgia. Yeah, great re relay throw there to, to get him out.
Thank <laughs> you.